What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at the BIOS on the Maximus 5 Gene motherboard from Asus and it's mostly like almost all the other Asus BIOSes, you know, for the Z77 chipset. Since it is a Republic of Gamers motherboard, you're going to get this Republic of Gamers skin here. Now, this is a UEFI BIOS, so you're going to be able to use your mouse as well as the keyboard here to move things around. Now, when you go into the BIOS here, the first thing you're going to see is your target CPU speed and target DRAM speed. That's important, so if you're changing settings around, you're going to know what your target speeds are, you know, for whatever you're doing. Moving down, you can load your gamer's OC profile, um, just a profile that's set up, um, an overclocked profile. Moving down, you can set up your CPU level up. Um, very easy. So these are auto automatically overclocking settings. So I have it disabled, but you can set it on auto, 4.6 gigahertz, 4.4, and 4.2. Again, this is all dependent on the uh, processor that you have installed. Uh, the overclock tuner, I have it set to XMP for my memory but you can set it to um, manual or, or auto as well moving down of course you have your xmp profiles um, your bclk frequency which we have set at 100 your uh, internal PLL, pll over voltage so you can set that to auto enabled or disabled moving down you can set your cpu bus speed daring bus speed ratio um, here you can see it could be 100 133 or 100 100 or auto as we have it of course, memory frequency, extreme tweaking, you can you can set this up um, to be an enabled or disabled. SPI booster, same thing. And EPU power saving mode, also same thing. Moving down, um, you can go into your DRAM timing. So you can set all of your timings here on each of your uh, memory sticks here, however you like it. Very easy to change. Um, GPU dim post, this is actually really helpful. So if you're overclocking your video cards, this can be extremely helpful. So this actually shows you what um, cards you have installed on both your uh, GPU and on your memory. So as you can see here, we have an ATI, uh, as they read it, um, running it at you know, the native X16 mode. And then for our memory, we have two sticks of DDR3, uh, 13... 33 megahertz, but it's running at 1600 and you can see what channels it's in. So if something's not working, maybe you have four sticks of RAM installed and they're not, you know, it's not booting or something's not working. You can go in here and see if they're all showing up and what speeds they're running at. Going down CPU power management. This is where you can set your CPU ratio um, and enable Intel speed step in turbo mode. Uh, just basic stuff like that. The Digi Plus power control. This is a lot of stuff for all of your power delivery. There are a lot of options in here, um, different things you can set. I have it on auto, but say you're doing some really heavy overclocking, you know, you can set it to extreme or ultra high. A lot of different settings in here. I can just go down and show you them. Um, a lot of stuff here, again, so you can have full control over the power delivery of your system. And down here is all your voltage settings. So you can set everything. Um, to how you like it. I have most of them on auto um, just because I'm not really overclocking or anything like that. But you can actually um, put this extreme OV as well. So um, you can put higher levels of voltage on different things when you have this enabled, which is a good thing, especially if you're overclocking. And then all the way at the bottom here, you have all your SKUs, which I have set to auto here. Um, but of course, you can change them as you can see right there. And that's basically it. Uh, you can also s change the spread spectrum um, and the BCLK recovery, which we do have enabled. Uh, that just makes it go back to the default 100. Um, that is basically everything in Extreme Tweaker. That's where if you're changing a lot of your settings, whether it's memory or CPU, that's where a lot of it's going to be. Now, if we move over here to main, that just shows you all of your information about your BIOS, about your CPU, everything like that. You can change the language and the date and time, and I'll also set up your security. Going over to advanced, the first thing here that you're going to see is the Spream FX3 lighting. And what that is is there are LEDs are, that are actually on the motherboard. Um, you can turn them off, so if you don't want them on, Obviously, you can turn them off. just makes it easier. You can do it right here on the BIOS. Of course, CPU con configuration. It shows all your information about your CPU and then all of the different features that you can enable and disable. And same thing here. You can also change the CPU uh, settings here in the CPU power management configuration. Going back, uh, PCH, you know, your normal stuff that you can set up. 
SATA, same thing. Um, just set up all your drives, set up all your hot plugs, however you want them, and whether you want them ACHI or uh, IDE or RAID, however you want it set up, you can do that right in here. This is basically all the basic information. System agent configuration, you know, USB configuration, you can enable all that stuff. Um, onboard devices, of course, you can turn off you know, your, your front panel connections if you want, or you can enable or disable different uh, audio codecs or all that kind of stuff, or even your storage controllers or USB controllers, you can turn all that stuff off. Um, go back into here, APM, of course, you can set all that stuff. And your network stack, um, you can enable it or disable it. Monitor is actually pretty cool. So one, you can enable and disable anti-surge support. And then the, your voltage monitor, of course, is going to show all of your voltages. Same thing with temperature monitor. Going to show me both my CPU and motherboard temperature. Fan speed, of course, is going to show you all of your fan speeds. Just that's what it does. Um, and everything. If you don't have anything installed, of course, it's just going to show not available. Fan speed control. So this is actually pretty cool. So you can control all of your fans, whether it's by temperature or, or however you want it. Um, you can do that. So uh, you, you, you enable your Q fan control and you can set a profile, whether it's standard silent turbo or manual. And you can also do this in the AI suite software as well. Um, much easier to do it in there than here, but you can also do for all of the fans in your actual BIOS, which is pretty cool. And then we go over to the boot to set up your boot settings, whether you want to, you know, do a fast boot, boot from USB, all that stuff, enable or disable, full screen logo, you know, all that stuff. Um, all your boot option priorities, so you can set your boot order, all that type of stuff. And then you can do a boot override. So if you want to boot to one of these drives that we have here, instead of booting, you, I can just hit enter and we'll go right in. And finally, we have our tools here. So we have Easy Flash 2. What that enables you to do is flash your BIOS and upgrade it to a new one. Very easy. All you need is a USB flash drive. Put it in. Go into this utility. It will see your USB flash drive. It will see the uh, image for your BIOS. You can select it, and it will go ahead and update. OC profile is just allows you to save and load different OC profiles you have. SPD information, of course, is all of the information on your memory here. And finally, go button file. What that does is we can go in here, and this is all set to auto, of course, but the go button is a button that's on the motherboard itself, and what it allows you to do is it's instant overclocking button. So you set all of your overclocking settings in here, and as soon as you hit that go button when your system's turned on, it will instantly overclock the system. So it's just something really easy to do. Um, and all of that and all of those settings are in here again and then one thing i did want to mention there is a shortcut menu so if you you know there's a lot of menus here there's a lot of stuff to go through you ever get lost or just might be hard to find something just hit f3 and it goes into your shortcut menu and you can go into all of the different things all of the main features here you have digi plus power control cpu power management cpu configuration dram timing control dram spd information Asus, Asus OC profile, fan controls, Easy Flash 2, and graphics configuration. So all of that stuff you can go into very easily. Again, a very nicely laid out BIOS. I also like that I can use the mouse and keyboard at the same time. Also, when I'm inputting something, I can go through a list of things, or I can input it directly myself uh, using the keyboard, which I like. So that has basically been it uh, for the overview of the BIOS here on the Asus Maximus Five Gene. Check back very soon on Think Computers for our full review of the actual motherboard. And remember, guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe?